It's going to be a long overdue review of the Blackhawk Omnivore holster. I've been running this one for about six months and I've been running it very hard. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see most of my clips for the past six months have been exclusively this holster. And um, so far, I find it to be quite a phenomenal holster for what it is. And that being multi-gun. Mine is for the Surefire X300. So basically what this holster does is it clips on to the actual light. So most smaller framed handguns, um, as long as it has an X300 on it, will fit in here. And you have active retention, so it has a thumb brake or a button per se. Kind of like the Safari Land ALS system. You just mash down and draw. Now, some of the downsides to this holster is it is loud. As it's not fitted for a specific gun, uh, the gun can rattle around quite a bit in it. So whenever you're running, it does tend to rattle. Now, that might, may be an issue for you, and it may not be. For me, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I will show you several different handguns and how it fits. This is a SIG P322. Smith fits in there just fine. And this SIG P320X5 also perfect fit. Draw stroke with this. I'll try to film a few different angles for you. Um, the handgun, like I said, the handgun's super secure. It really does lock in the way it's supposed to with that. And I'm not saying that you won't lose your handgun if you're doing stupid stuff. Maybe you're hanging upside down, um, doing sit up, hanging sit ups or something. Um, but with my experience, you're not going to lose it. It's not going to come out. It's not going to come out during sprints. It's very secure. Um, the draw stroke, just like any other holster, really. Just have to make sure that you get that button fully depressed before you pull up because if you pull up it's not gonna unlock you can't press the button but make sure you depress that so one of the cons to this holster is that it is not compatible with the safari land you know, quick detach mounting system i believe it's the uh, qls fork system you can correct me if i'm wrong but uh i don't know of any way to make it compatible with that system maybe there is a way i'm just unaware of it there wasn't any way i could line up any of the holes on blackhawks mounting system here to get it to work with the forks so i think that's a huge downside to it um, because then I can't run it on my belt kit or I have to build a separate belt kit around it and I really don't want to do that So I've had to run this holster just on my regular belt. I don't like that about it And like I said, maybe there is an adapter. I haven't done a whole lot of research into it So hopefully there is something on the market, but as of now, I don't know anything the thumb brake up here or the button it comes with several different sizes and there's two screws in here you just back those out and you can put on it actually comes with a smaller one i prefer this big one but it has uh, actually three different sizes one final note with this holster is that on some of the larger handguns like the uh the p320 or the x5 here it does ride pretty high in the holster which it is possible that if you're in heavy brush or something uh it could get to the trigger i mean i can get my finger in here and actually pull the trigger so that is something to be aware of on these on smaller ones it's not really a problem i'll demonstrate like on the p322 it's down in there really well and i can't actually reach the trigger 
on the Smith here, I also cannot reach the trigger. It actually sits deeper than the, uh, the P322, which I find to be interesting since it's a significantly larger gun, but can't reach it. No problem. So hopefully that can help you with your choice. I have not saw much information out there on this holster, so I just kind of picked it up on a whim, looking for something that could be universal. And because I have the P322 I've been doing a review on, I needed a holster where I could run a light with it. So there weren't really any options out there that I know of or could find. And uh, it turns out that it works really well with these other three guns that I've been using it with. So uh, I definitely do recommend the holster for what it is. It's phenomenal. Um, obviously having a designated holster built specifically for a gun is always going to be the best option, but maybe that's not always an option for you. At least with this, I can take anything. I can put the X300 on, you know, within reason and put in it. I do not think these are designed to run with any larger frame, like uh, any 45 ACP Glocks or anything like that. Um, I don't have any HKs anymore, so I don't know if it'll work with them. I would guess that it probably would not. It does not look big enough to accommodate one of those. And uh, I'm also not sure about 10 millimeter Glocks or anything of that nature. As far as nines, and in this case it's 40, it works perfect. I, I would like to get one of the Smith & Wesson trr 8 357s and try it in here. I'm curious if it would work. I have no idea, so maybe that's a future project. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.